Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get going. We have such a full show this evening. Couple of quick messages. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you. If you would like to ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. You can call in. If you do call in and you have a question or you want to connect with a loved one, please make sure you press the one on your keypad that lets me know you have a question. Um, if you are watching live on YouTube, you can post a question in the YouTube chat section. I go live every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. I answer questions, help people connect with loved ones on the other side. And I, um, and I, yeah, that's what I do. And I had just a moment where my brain decided not to work so much. Okay, um, I have some programs coming up, um, healing programs. Uh, one is for weight. It's going to be starting next, uh, the 20th or 22nd, the 22nd of July is six sessions, but you can just take one or two if you want. And it is an ideal weight and body program. I'm going to adjust, uh, not adjust, address um, psychological, emotional eating along with any any eating things and body um, issues, all of, all of the things. And during this program, um, it is a, a hypnosis program. So you'll be deep in hypnosis where the suggestions can um, go into your subconscious and then your conscious mind and help you make permanent changes to create the body that you want. The other program is the self program. And this I think is the most important, second most important program anyone can take. Um, this program deals with uh, self-respect. We heal your self-respect, self-confidence, self-worth, self-love. Um, and two other ones, I always forget all the selves. There are six, it's six weeks. Each week we address one of the program, one of the selves and heal it. And again, on a uh, subconscious level. So it's a permanent healing of this and building on that. All right. Uh, if you would like more information on either of those programs or to book a private session, the information is on my website, T-O-N-I-G.I-N-F-O. You can go there and get all the information and we're going to get started with the show. If I call your area code, please let me know what area you're calling from and what is your name. And if you have a question, please make it about life, love, career, finances. I do not do general readings on here. If you would like a general reading, you can book a session. Please have a specific question. Or if you would like to connect with a loved one up above, please let me know their name and their relationship to you. And if you have a question or topic you would like to discuss with them, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer that or get that information for you. I'm a psychic, a medium, a channel. I've been for as long as I can remember, um, all the way back into my childhood, just been able to get messages, see things, hear things. Um, and also, um, I'm a hypnotherapist and I do obviously healing work with the clearing work. There are like four or five different healing works that I do, uh, the look of love, which is a work where I, I heal through my eyes and um, what else? Well, I, I just work with um, ascended ones and angels to help heal whatever it is the person needs in the way that they need it healed. Okay, I'm going to get started right away with 
songs. I'm hearing songs. I heard names and songs, but songs was louder. Louder. So we're going to go to songs. The first and the songs could answer a question that you have. It could be. Um, uh, a song your loved one loved, you loved, or again, answering a question. We're going to go into songs. The first song is um, Ain't Nobody Loves It. So fresh and so clean, so fresh and so clean. I can't, I don't know all the words to that. So, but if it's for you, it's for you. The next song, <laughs> that just cracks me up. It sounds like it should be an ad for like a lawn, laundry detergent <laughs> or something like that. The next song is that song, I would take a grenade for you. Eh, eh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the next song is um, If You Were My Girl. The next song is um, that song that goes da na 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 that one. And, you know, sometimes I just get little bits and pieces of the song. And if the song is for you, that little bit, I don't need the whole song or the song title. If it's for you, you're going to know. You're going to know that's your song. Um, the next song is Walking on Sunshine. Hey, and don't you feel good? Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, the next song is... Um, Making my way downtown, walking fast, something, something. You're gonna if it's again, if it's for you, it's for you. Um, and I want you and I miss you. And I I don't I I could I think they would give me the word all of the words to that song. But ah uh, yeah, we're gonna stop there. The next song is Shakira, Shakira. These songs are coming out fast. Like I'm not even being able to hear them before they're flying out of my mouth. Didn't know you can dance like that. I love that song, but I like Shakira. Um, you know why? Because she's super sassy. I like how sassy. I like the way she can move her hips. Like I wish I could like. Do 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 do. I mean, I can move my hips, but I can't. Do, 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 do. I can't. And you know, another thing I can't do that I, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe I need to record myself trying to do it, but I don't want to be depressed after I watch it. Is you know, I watch these videos where girls can make their booty go in a circle, like they're like, like they're, and I can. I can move my waist, and I can flip my hips, and I can rotate. I just don't think I can make my booty go in a circle up and down. I can make it go round and round, in and out, side to side. I just don't think I can make that whole, I don't know. I'm going to have to record it at some point to see if I can do that. But again, I don't know if I want to cry. I don't, I don't know if I want to make myself cry after I watch that and what my booty looks like from behind. Because, you know, we all have in our mind, oh, I'm killing it. I'm smashing it. And then we look at it and we're like, when did it get that big? What? That is not what I was going. I mean, come on. Okay. Anyway, back to songs. Um, loosen up, a, uh, loosen up my buttons, babe. <laughs> and I'm just going to end songs there because I just feel like I went a little too far left with that. <laughs> Okay, somebody, does anybody else wonder if they can make their butt do that thing? You Do you know what I'm even talking about at this point? Do ya? Do you know what that thing where their butt goes? I, I can't explain it, but. Or that thing where they can pivot their butt really fast. Where is that button? Where What button do I have to push? To make my butt just like pivot like that. I think one of my discs would definitely like fly out of, fly out of place. Like, I mean, like, how do they, what is it, tw like twerking? I don't know if that's the twerking thing. How, how? 
I, but I want to, I want to, I want to make my butt do those things. I do. I think every woman wants to make their butt do those things. Do you know what really? And girls, if you're with me on this, when I'm watching a video and a guy jumps in and he's like, boom, 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 boom with his butt, I'm like, I'm calling a foul on that. You're not even, what? What? Why are you doing that? How did you learn that? And why are you doing it? What? No words, no words for that. None, none. Okay, now I'm letting it go. Just going to let it go. <laughs> I'm seriously letting it go now. <laughs> okay, going to the first caller. <clears throat> first caller, 630. 630, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Eon. Um, I'm calling from North Carolina. Hey, Dion. How are you? I'm good. I was going through some papers and I came across, we did a show back in October of last year and you did all the names and you did, and you did the songs and I wrote everything down and it was really weird because there was one name that like at the time I didn't know, but then when I picked up the paper today, like it all connected. Okay. And so I was like, Oh my God, this is so weird. She knew this. You knew all of this way back in October of like last year. And <clears throat> I just wanted to let you know that it was like, that's pretty far back for you to give me names that just connected like literally today. And that happens so often. And if you would ask me the names again, I probably would not be able to give them to you. But I'm so grateful. And you, I always say this to people, my, even my predictions come in sometimes years ahead of time so people can prepare, so people can start making moves and do what they need to do. I'm gonna tell you all a prediction and, and then Deanna, I'm gonna let you ask your question. I've been telling people for quite some time um, that the market, I have to be careful of how I say things so I don't get X'd and you know get my show taken down in our free world with free speech. The market that has, you know what they, you put in soup like stock? <clears throat> I know, I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. Was going to crash and something, it would come back, but different. Okay, that's the way I had the information. I've been getting this for well over a year now. And three people who have all the vested interest in that particular market are now planning on opening a new market in Texas. So what do you think they're gonna do to the when they do this, when they pull, when they open this new one and pull from the other one, no one will know. It'll happen overnight. And anybody who is left there that's not part of these three and the big companies will be left like a pooch out in the cold. Just, mm, mm. you can't say it's not planned. It's planned. We just typically normally don't get the information. Mm. So just so you all know that, just so you all know that. Okay, Dion. Uh, and like I said, I just get it so far in advance that sometimes people are like, that's just crazy, but then it's not. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Dion. What's your question? <laughs> I'm kind of, wait, I was kind of lost with that one. Did you say, were, were you saying that it was like the stock of like one of the big three companies? It's the, okay, so I have to, because of the platforms that I'm on, if I sit, give out certain information or say certain words, their AI will catch it and then they'll they'll take the show down. 
So I have to say it in a very cryptic, almost puzzle-like way. But if you re-listen, you'll catch it. You'll get it. Okay. Um, okay. Because okay. I can't that just, I just can't say straight out what it is uh, because they'll like X my show and whatever else. So, but that's not why you called. So wh what's your question, love? Okay. So, so what, okay. So I called because I looked and I'm like, oh my God, she's on tonight. Because I went back and re-listened to the show. You're on on Wednesdays. So basically the information that you gave me last October that I applied to what I'm working with in my career as of today, is this going to open up more doors for this project that I'm working on with my career? Absolutely. It, it's, I just hear, yes, absolutely. It's all coming together. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling back. Thank you for the confirmation. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you again, love. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. So um, in the chat, there's so many people in the chat. I'm going to start, I'm going to scroll back a little bit to try to find um, some some questions. I think this is where I left off. So Blessed One wants to know if her mother Yvonne has any messages for her because Blessed One's been going through a very difficult time and I kind of answered it, but it's it's a little bit of a longer answer. So I'm going to go through and give a little bit more of an answer for you, Blessed One. Um, one of the things that I did get is that um, Sometimes when we go through such a tremendously difficult time, it is because we are evolving, we're growing, we're, we are learning things. But also sometimes we have people or things in our life that, that we might love or whatever, but they, they might not be the best for us. And somehow or another, the energy of that situation can cause us to have a more difficult time in life. And the message I'm getting for you, blessed one, is a choice that you made or something or someone in your life, not to blame blame anyone or anything else, because we, we do make choices to keep people in out of love and, and empathy and a lot of other reasons is what is bringing bringing almost almost bringing this stuff to you okay so if i were to give you an example sometimes we have someone in our life because they don't have anybody else that we feel sorry for them and when we let go of that situation um our life starts to turn around and everything starts to get good again now, let me say this. A lot of people say to me, um, well, I'm afraid if I let this person go, they won't have anyone, they won't have anything, nobody will be there to help them. That's never the case. People are never left completely without help. And a hand, it's supposed to be a hand up, not a hand out. It's not supposed to sustain for life. It's supposed to help you get get to where you need to be so you can go on your own. But blessed one, whatever this is, whether it's the place you work, uh, somebody you work with, a family, friend, partner, whatever it is, um, there's, and, and I'm hearing your mom keeps saying, you know, what it is you know what it is and i'm so sorry that you're going through this i truly am but as soon as this you start to separate yourself from it you're going to feel a million times better just it's going to start to turn around um and you're going to get stronger i am doing a clearing for you so i hope that helps you to feel better love I really do. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hello, Tony. It's Pat from Connecticut. Hey, Pat. I just started, I finally figured out how to text you. Um, I was just about to tell you, look up belly dancing, but look up tribal belly dancing. Look up videos <laughs> and see if you can get some instructions on there. I, I didn't tune in to see what you were describing, but I think that may help you. Thank you. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I love you. You can do it. You can do it, Tony. I know it. You can do it. Put your back. things and breaking it down and you'll get it. Is that, is that like the song, so, you can do it, put your back into it? <laughs> well, probably, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I don't know if many people are feeling this, but um, my car insurance went up $600. Oh, and Jesus. I'm, I'm shocked and stunned. And I called and I said, why? And they said, it's going across the board. So I've been calling everywhere trying to get get it down. And I just want to ask you quickly, this guy, Logan, is getting it really down at a great price. And I love him. And then my um, insurance company is being very practical and saying, no, you cannot go down that far, which is like 5100. And they're saying, well, maybe, you know, 100 to 300,000 is okay, but we're not happy with it. And then Logan's going to talk to me more tomorrow. Anyway, do you, should I go with Logan and go cheaper? He's saying basically you've been paying with, you know, for protection for five years with a great driving record and no accidents. You're just putting out all this money. But then again, the other guy, Squarey, will say, hey, you know, you got to protect yourself. It's crazy out there and car repairs are so high. And my question is, He's saying they can sue you. Can they sue you if you have no money? Um, and you, who should I go with? Let me answer it this way. Uh, I'm going to say it to you this way, Pat. Anybody can sue anybody. It's what what can they get from you? What can they take? Like, so if you're, first of all, I live in a, in a state where everybody, if you're on the road, you're required to have insurance so if they are in a vehicle and they get into an accident their insurance should cover something but also if you are in a situation where you are not wealthy or you don't whatever what are they going to take what wh if you're on a fixed income living in, in in a certain situation, what are they going to take? Right, that Pat? That was my thought, too. Like, I know a little bit about your situation, and I'm not down-talking it. I'm just saying it's like my mom was on Social Security, and it, it, she was on Medicaid. If she was in a car accident, and... It, it, when she was alive and they wanted to sue her what what would they take like right. what would they, what would they take yeah, yeah, go ahead go ahead sue me what what are you going to take do you want me to give blood donations yeah. every other week for you like at some point we people insurance agents make a percentage or a commission off of every payment that we make, especially if it's a standalone or big name insurance company with a building that you can walk into. They're going to have higher payments. And I'm not telling anybody what to do with their insurance. Please do what's best for you. Their payments are going to be higher because there are more people getting commissions and they have buildings to pay rent on. And I don't, I believe if I have this wrong, please forgive me, but companies maybe like Progressive don't have buildings every place with people that own them and have all these expensive to pay. So they're, they can offer lower rates kind of, um, but do. He, excuse me. He found, yeah, he found me Progressive at a great rate. Yeah. yeah so, and I know that Progressive always offers um, a better rates than let's just say, I can't say another company's name because I could get in trouble, 
but then like a company that actually has storefronts because they have to pay for those storefronts. They have to pay for the lights, the plumbing, the 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 sign, the all of it. Where someplace like Progressive, that's an online only, might be able to offer what you need at a much lower rate. At the end of the day, you just have to make sure you are comfortable with whatever it is you're getting. And I feel like every at the end of the day, just about every insurance company is able to offer you the exact same thing as far as protection but maybe not a building you can walk into if that makes sense to you that's 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 the way i would say it do you see me go being safe going lower i'd like to go lower and my fear is, and I shouldn't live on fear, but living in the city, we have young kids that steal, steal cars, they have fake license plates, and they go for joy rides and go 100 miles an hour, and the accidents here are incredible. And unfortunately, I get afraid occasionally of that happening to me. Okay, here's what I'm going to recommend to you. Get one of those dash cameras that record the front and the back, what happens in front of you and behind you. They're very inexpensive. Get one of those with the money you save and that way you don't have to worry because you'll have on camera whose fault the accident is. And second, have an amount that is seemingly appropriate. Okay. The, you know, okay. The, fu the funny thing is, here's, the, here's a thing that insurance companies do. They'll say you need 100000 in property on your vehicle in case the other person's yeah. car gets destroyed. Who, how many people are driving around in a car that the value is over 100000 And that's only okay. if you're to blame. That's only if you're at fault for the accident. Makes sense. I, I, it, Makes sense. Most people, um, if it's their fault, their insurance kicks in. If it's my fault, my insurance kicks in. But I just feel like be practical with your totals do what is practical and good and comfortable for you in your financial situation there's an insurance okay wait a second there's an insurance company out there for seniors there's a car insurance company out there just for seniors that i'm i'm sorry i don't recall the name of it right now but maybe it starts with consumer something and they'll lock in your rate. Okay. Look that look up senior car insurance and see what comes up for you. Okay, love. Thank you so much. I love you. God bless. I, and oh, you know, get those hips moving. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too, Pat. You have an amazing rest of the day. Love Thank you. you so much for calling in. So for those of you who missed that part of the show about the hips and the dancing, I just want to know how to make my butt do the circle thing or the whatever. It doesn't matter. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, or you can put a question in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. Um, hey, Michelle Lee. Hey, Tanya. Tanya wants to know, can I connect with my, I'm going to put you on screen, Tanya. Can I connect with my dad, Bill? Tanya, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to ask you, oh, I don't want to lose my spot. Tanya, do you have a specific question for your dad? And I'm going to start tapping in. I see a thinner guy with a short sleeve button down shirt, uh, stripes and casual pants. Now this could also be a grandfather. Um, he's very thin. 
at least at the end, this person was thin and I see him being a little bit older. So this could be a grandfather that I'm seeing, Tanya. And also, um, he has like a, something in his hand, like a, I don't know, the handle is like a handle for a shovel or a rake or something like that. I don't know what that means, okay? I really don't know what that means, Tanya. I hope that's helpful. So I'm gonna c connect with your dad. His name is Bill. Um, and I'm just, since, since you didn't post again yet, a, a question for him. Oh, there you are. No questions. That sounds like my grandpa. Yep, thank you. I, I knew it. Ah! I knew it. <laughs> well, your grandpa's here and he's looking there, like your grandpa's right here and he's looking there. So I'm sure you're, this, that's just a sign your grandpa and your dad are together. Um, and then your grandpa, who is like doing a bit of the talking to start with, says, uh, what, there's, uh, there are a lot of us here. There's a lot of us here. There's a lot of us here. And your grandpa is like looking. And if I look, I just see like a lot of, I don't see the faces, but I just see a lot of uh, bubbles or people. Okay. So as your, at one point, your dad had a bit of a belly. Your dad had a bit of a belly, but I see the resemblance between him and your grandpa. I definitely do. Okay. And the first message that I'm getting for you from your dad is um, it's, the energy has completely changed and it's more of a little bit of a somber energy that has come in with your dad. Your grandpa was very strong and not upbeat, but like, hey, we're here, we've got you. Your dad comes in and there's the first thing I hear is I'm sorry. Um, now this could be because of the way you're going to know what the sorry is for, whether it's something that happened or the way something happened or the way he left, you're going to know or how he left things. You, that that's for you. It's that that might not be for everything, but if it makes sense to you, just just put yes in the in in the comments. Um, yeah, there are a lot here, hundreds, hundreds. Tanya, Tanya for those of you listening, uh, um, or those of you who can't see the chat, Tanya says there are there's a lot there. The next thing that he wants to say is he misses. He's showing me two things, and I hope this is, he, he misses like pizza and beer. He's showing me like a mug with um, what I'm assuming is beer. Um, and then he's saying that the message, what he would want to say to you is keep going. You're almost at the precipice of something, something, and this doesn't have to be like, a work project. It could be something you're healing within you. It could be anything. So keep going. Don't don't give up because you're so close and you don't even realize how close you are. And then the other message he wants to tell you is that you're going to be okay. It might not work out exactly the way you want it to or think it's going to work out, but it's going to work out. And it might just work out better than you thought it could. Man, this is really... Whew. His emotions are so thick and heavy, like... So like there's a, a somberness or a sadness with this, like that he's not here to guide and to lead and to, to make better whatever this was. I feel like he has the feeling he should have done better when he was here, but he he's not making excuses, but he did the best he could. And he knows that you're okay with how he did, but looking back at everything, um, He's just commenting like there are places where as a man, I didn't 
I should have stepped up a little bit more. And if this, please let me know if this makes sense to you in some way. Um, and if you know what he is. Um, oh, she says, I just got done eating pizza and he obviously loved beer. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. Um, okay, so wherever he feels, these are his because when you get up there, you get to look at everything and see it wherever he feels like he could have guided or made you stronger or he could have been stronger himself. He really feels that now. Um, he wants you to know he's he's going to come. He's coming to you or he's going to come to you with messages in your sleep. Now, you've probably been having dreams and he's probably been giving you downloads. Whew, whew. Um, but I hear that song, but ba -ba baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. So there, those downloads are about to get big and you might not know. The, oh, and my ear ringing just went, those downloads are going to get big. And you might not even know they're coming from him and you might not even know you're getting downloads in your sleep. But, 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 but baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this just in, Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, and she is confirming she always dreams about him. Uh, and she does know exactly what he's talking about. Um, he's helping you open your intuition. I do this like third eye, like, hello, open, close, open, close. Uh, he's open, help, opening, he's helping you open your third eye or your intuitive abilities more. And he says, there's, don't be afraid. The only, he says, you're going to get this. The only thing to fear is fear itself. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay. And then he's saying, of course, you know, I love you. I don't need to say that, but I'm going to. And he's, he's hugging you. He's showing like he's just oh, squeezing you. Um, when you get those feelings on the top of your head, also that's him, not, you know, whatever. Okay, Tanya, I hope that was really helpful. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who, if you'd like to call him, 845-277-9131 um, is the call-in number. The next caller is 504. 504, what's your name? And where Hi, Hi, what's your name, love? Hi, it's Debbie. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. How can I help you tonight, love? Um, I've called you like oh, as an appointment. I've called you before and you've always been so accurate. <laughs> like I always think of you, you know, and I'm so happy when I see you on. But my question is, I have kind of a weird situation and my roof is leaking in different spots. I was wondering if you, what the angels say about the best way, you know, without ruffling people's feathers to get it fixed. There's okay. a lot of moving parts in this. Okay. So the very first thing I hear is emotional. There's something emotional. Yeah. Um. So we're going to heal clear oh. release for you, everybody listening, watching, um, Whatever emotional healing we need at this time. Wow, that almost like just knocked me out of my skin. Um, whatever this is, it oh, just wow. almost just like it like threw me back. Like, um, so the the emotional healing for you, everybody. We're gonna heal what caused us, what kept us, why we're holding on to it. Um, we're going to heal that and all that this has caused and kept because we it, it whenever something happens it, it especially emotional we can be 
afraid to ruffle feathers. We can be afraid to say the wrong thing if it's not healed, right? We can be afraid to, you know, we can have a lot of things that an, a, a wound, an emotional wound can cause or keep us in a certain cycle, a certain belief, a certain program. So we're going to heal all of that and take it. And then the next thing I'm going to say is, um, are you paying your bills, my love? Where this leak is, is you're, you're paying, right? Oh my gosh. Even if you're not paying, here's what yeah. I'm hearing. They want to know, here's what I'm hearing. And having been a landlord or owning property myself and anybody, anybody who owns property, anything do, to do with water, especially a leak, we want it fixed immediately because we can fix that very quickly and easily where if that leak continues, the, we're getting structural damage and mold and it's getting yeah. bigger. So don't be, make it, you know, if you're nervous about how to say it, I would say it something like this. Hey, I know you would want to know this as soon as possible so that you can minimize the damage. There is a leak. This is where it is. Uh, I know you want to get on top of this immediately. So I'm letting you know right away. Because I will tell you that is one thing most landlords will it, and it leaks can be an easier fix than most other things in in a situation okay love so we're but we but i'm hearing now here's what i also feel and in eastern beliefs and some other beliefs leaks are typically emotions that we're not dealing with okay or tears that have not been uh, Tony. Mm -hmm. you know how you're asking if i'm paying the bills I'm paying my bills, but they're not paying their bills. Like well, they're literally not paying their taxes. That's funny you said that, and I keep bringing them the bill. Well, and so, I don't know what they're doing. It well, okay. So here's what I'll, I'll I'm going to say a couple of things to you. Um, it doesn't matter if they're not paying their bill; you are paying yours. And a lot of times, people who own property can. They are pretty handy and the, a leak they can fix easily or they know somebody who can fix a leak easily, um, depending okay. on the leak, depending on it. Um, and I, I'm just going to say this. There's a thing. And I'm not I'm not saying this is the case with them. They may there's a there is a financial thing going on right now with a lot of people. But there's also, yeah. maybe they just haven't filed yet. I did, I still haven't filed my 2024s yet. I haven't. Um, and I on okay. purpose, it's very intentional. I'm waiting to see if something happens. I can't say what I'm waiting for, but I am. Um, I do not recommend okay. this for anybody else. Don't, don't say, well, the psychic didn't do it. No, no, no. This is a personal thing I'm playing with. Um, but sometimes when people are not, they have, there are certain legal statuses that prevent people from paying property taxes. I'm not saying that's the case here at all. They may just pay their taxes differently, like every year and not monthly. That's neither here nor there, and that's not your issue. Um, if I right. were you, I would let them know about the leak so that they can fix it. Now, if they don't fix it, that is another phone call. But right now, do your best to let them know because if there's damage from the leak because it wasn't prevented, they can come back and say, well, you didn't let us know about this, and it went Correct. to this extreme and now it's on you and you don't want that okay love okay the funny thing about the leak it's clothes pulling off the tile clothes 
Isn't that funny? That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, th they can get up there and yeah. they can, you know, I could, I'm going to, I wouldn't want to do it. Honestly, I personally wouldn't want to do it, but you can get up there easily with a ladder and some tar or some roof stuff and slap on new tiles just to do a quick fix. Now I'm making it sound very okay. easy, but not you, you don't do it. They can do it very, you know, <laughs> fairly, easy. not okay. you. He told me I could find someone. No, that's not, you, you know, don't so. own a property. No, no, you don't own a property. You don't find somebody. They own a property. They find someone know your lane okay just keep reminding them listen there's a leak you don't Thank want you. this to get bigger you don't want it to get worse this is this is if you find somebody you're paying to repair the leak that is the roof is not your responsibility as a tenant in no state i mean there are in different states tenants are responsible for different things but structural things with a house typically are not tenant responsibilities. And so don't, okay. don't take on something that is not yours because if something goes wrong with that repair, guess who they're coming back to? It's true. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. So let them take, this you're is right. their property. When they sell it, they're going to get the profit from that. Let them take care of it. That is are, not your place. Okay? Are they going to sell it? Are they gonna I don't know. Sell it? I don't know, love. I don't know if they're going to sell it. All I can say is remind them again. And if they say, oh, well, you can find someone say, no, I can't. I don't know anyone. I have no idea of anything about that that is so far out of my wheelhouse i'm sorry i would if i could but i can't so i suggest you do it and that is the best thing you can say my love uh la 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 um oh blessed one is from belize central america thank you for letting us know that uh angie wants to know choo, 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 choo. hey tony Will Kish and I still go on our date? Haven't heard from him in a week. I have a personal opinion about that. Um, nobody's that busy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I feel like if, if that's how this person is starting, I can't even imagine how it will finish. I would say just based on me, personal opinion, if somebody set up a date with you and you haven't heard from them in a week, you just go about your life. You're not missing a whole heck of a lot. I mean, girls, chime in. All my men, men and women in the chat, chime in. Uh, let's talk about that. Um, I'm just going to tell you, Angie, set up a date with somebody else and say, oh, I haven't heard from you. I didn't know the date was still on. I just, that's. Me personally, nobody's that busy. This is one of those things where I say once somebody has you in their place, they forget about it until that time comes and then they can say, oh, I completely forgot. Or they can show up or reach out the time of or whatever. And I don't like that. If somebody's trying to build a relationship, if somebody's trying to build a future if somebody is serious about you even though they have this they have you for a date at this time they're still going to be communicating in between that's that's unhealthy that's unhealthy dating behavior or whatever you want to call it but you do what you want you do what you want with that um 
listen, if somebody says to me, hey, can I take you to lunch? And then I say, sure. And they don't come back with, are you available on this day at this place? I, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, hey, did you still? No. That's, I'm the girl. I know it might be hard to tell from my little attitude sometimes. No, I actually think my attitude makes me more the girl. Very much girl attitude going on. But but in all seriousness, if somebody's serious about you, they're not going to forget about you for a week and let you sit there when they're supposed to be getting ready to take you out. Just don't. It's up to you. I'm just hearing it's it's kind of up to you. You shouldn't have to reach out to a guy. You shouldn't have to question or ask if you're already asking is the date still going to happen can you imagine the questions you're going to have as time goes on that's 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 the best i can do for you sweetie i'm so sorry um hey misunderstood if you'd like to call in and ask a question the call in number is 845-277-9131 you have to push the one on your keypad so that I know you have a question. Call in, ask a question, connect with a loved one on the other side. Uh, I, Michelle Lee says, I just wish I had a butt. <laughs> squats, squats, leg press, squats, hit the gym. That muscle will grow. That muscle will grow. grow. Um, Deborah, let's see what Deborah wants. Hi, Tony. Can you tell me what's the best way of fixing my roof? It's leaking. I think we were just talking, Deborah, so I don't need to answer that. <laughs> I think I don't need to answer that. Thank you. Um, the best way is having your landlord do it. Or I would never tell somebody who's not a trained professional to get up there, but if you really want to take matters into your own hands, a lot of, uh, most of my guy friends can jump on a roof and fix it. Um, most of my guy friends can easily, they, they know how to, but I tend to be around a lot of manly men that like take matters into their own hands too. So I don't know. Um, so that's, that's what I could could say. A lot of my guy friends are very get into it, get their hands dirty. No two no no two ways about it. So um, and I think uh, every girl, every woman, especially every single woman, needs male friends that are handy. Um, not not so they can do things for her, but they have a different mentality and they will be so honest with you about um men and how they're moving and what they're saying and what it really means and how they're behaving uh, you know men who are handy and don't mind like they they will work hard and they don't mind getting their hands dirty if you say to them oh a guy said this they'll just look at because they don't have time for bs they do not have time they'll just look at you and go nah sweetie that ain't it. This is what's going on. And I'll be like, thanks. I don't argue. I, I'm not like, oh, no, that's not what that means. He's just really, I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Thanks. I appreciate that. So, so just, you know, um, okay. Laura, you are welcome. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if I answered a question from you, Michelle. Um, if you have time, does my brother David have anything? He would have been 53 on the first. I'm sorry for your loss, Michelle. I am going to uh, see if we can tap into David, your brother. <sighs> 
he just says okay so i see somebody uh, just the biggest smile just the biggest smile on on their face on his face i should say and the message would be um don't uh don't let this the first song coming through is don't let that i think it's don't let the sun catch you crying I, i'm not sure but i i hear that and then the next thing that i hear and as i go to say it the ringing in my ears so loud it sounded like when i opened my mouth it was going all the way through my jaw oh, it's the weirdest thing craziness um the next thing is um that song every little thing is gonna be all right i think that's the don't worry song don't worry um and then what he would actually say not you know those two were songs um I, I also hear boom, chakalaka laka. I don't, I don't know if the, I I feel like that's a song, but I can't I can't think of the song right now. Somebody put in the chat, what is boom chakalaka laka? Give me words to that, because <laughs> otherwise that is gonna haunt me all night. <laughs> um, and if that makes sense to you, Michelle, please tell me. Oh my gosh. Okay, he wants to tell you. Um, He's better. It's bet. He's better now. I'm better now. I'm better now. Um, I'm. I'm. I don't understand what this means, but I'm going gray. I'm not, or I'm not going gray. I don't understand what that means, and maybe you do. Maybe you understand what that means. Um, but that's that's. I just hear going gray, going gray, whatever that means for the situation with him, either while, pr probably while he was here. And gray can be an emotional state also. So if he, um, if he would all, all, often have different emotional states, uh, that would be a confirmation from him. The, and then, okay, the next message, I just want to get the next message. And the next message would be, um, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for thinking of me. It humbles me that you think of me still. And the ringing is literally coming into both ears and just like a silo. It's so loud. Um, thank you so, so much for thinking of me. Um, he wishes he understood when he was here how much he was loved and how much he would have been missed. It's an interesting factor of the human element, isn't it? When we're here, we don't realize how much people care about us and miss us. And then from the other 90 side, seconds. Ah, from the other side, we get to watch the torment they go through from losing us. Okay, you guys. I'm so sorry that the show is over. I'm going to try to do a weekend show. Please don't forget I have programs. I will be back Monday at noon to uh, do another show, but I am going to try to do a weekend show. I might do something Friday afternoon or Friday night. So please. Uh, 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 60 seconds. <laughs> shush. Shush. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Oh, okay. I love you all so stinking much. Please uh, have an amazing weekend if I don't if I don't get to see you before then. And until next time, um, create miracles in your life. Thank you. Thank you for being here. With me. Thank you.